Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is a double shot of Tier 8 Premium Action featuring Elite Commando from Crazy Clan in this first game. And don't blink because you might just miss something. In this first game he's running around in the British FE4202, the FE4202. 230 hit points of damage, 226 penetration with its standard rounds, 258 penetration with its premium rounds and he's lucky enough to be top tier in this battle as he gets a shot into the MT-25 the tier little tier 6 light tank which gets taken out by the T-37 Elite Commando loves his premium tanks and he loves these credits and wait till you have a look at the end of the game for how many credits these things can make now both games aren't from Elite Commando this one is next one's from somebody completely different if I said it would both from him gets a shot into the IS-6 gets another shot into the premium Russian heavy tank which has pretty much been made obsolete after the introduction to the into the game of the defender or the object 252U to zip the score elite commando looking for some more shots up on the mine and he's having a look at the IS-6 the IS-6 shoots at him and misses elite commando doesn't miss though puts a shot into the side of the premium heavy Russian tank and doesn't, not really sure if how much further he wants to push on the mine. He doesn't know what he might get sniped at by up on the top. But he's going to use the... Pretty sure it's got decent gun depression. The FV-202. And he's never going to miss a shot like that. Right in the back of the IS-6. Two IS-6s on the enemy side. And of course they're in a platoon with the FCM. All preferential matchmaking heavy tanks. And of course the new newer heavy tanks don't have that preferential matchmaking as your elite commando bounces a shot for 390 hit points from the is6 he knows he'll be able to get another shot into him before that russian gun reloads and you can see in the middle of the screen he's got that perk which tells you which parts of the enemy tanks are damaged and you can see that the panther's got damaged tracks doesn't mean he's tracked just mean he's these tracks have sustained some damage. Cops a shot for 21 hit points, which tells me that was high explosive from the T7 German heavy tank, the Tiger. And puts a blind shot towards where that Panther 2 was last seen. Doing a great job keeping these tanks lit up for the enemy. Gets a shot into the back of the turret of the Leo. And like I said, don't blink because it will you'll miss something. Critical hit to T26. E4, and you can see that E4 had a damaged driver, but looks like he must have fixed it. 4-2 the score now. Elite Commando's on 2,776 damage, and he adds to that total, putting another shot into the Super Pershing, another preferential matchmaking tank, and that Super Pershing just doesn't know where to aim. Looks like he's getting hit from all sides, and Elite Commando just working this ridgeline really, really well, putting damage into the American medium tank and taking him down to 247 hit points. Oh, don't shoot, you'll get there. Look at what's that IS-6 doing? IS-6 shoots and misses or bounces, but flying the lead, he never misses. Gets a shot into the commander's hatch on the top of the turret of the heavily armored American medium tank. 3,670 hit points of damage. He's only taken one damaging shot, or two if you count that little high explosive shell from the Tiger. 5-3 the score now. He hasn't picked up a kill yet, but by God, he's picked up some damage. 3,940, and the score's only 5-3. He's still got plenty of opportunities to damage these heavy tanks. Looking at the IS-6 now. Needs to move forward just a bit more. Puts a shot in. Bounces a shot from behind from the FCM. And looks like the FCM's looking elsewhere now. And, gee, it would have thought that would have penetrated. The FCM... Heavy French tank, not known for its armor. He won't bounce. Oh, he bounce, does bounce that one. So I thought he was gonna. He thought he was gonna give Elite Commando a hell of a lot of angle there, and he does now. Straight into the backside of the French heavy tank, tracks him as well. Looks like the ammo racks damaged in that French heavy tank as well. That shot just critical hits him. As Elite Commando continues to get that British gun singing, puts another shot into the French premium heavy tank and will he get another one here he should do it might be the kill shot that looks like that last shot might have went into the dirt searching around looking for more opportunities and there's that tiger too with all that juicy hit point so he jumps off the hill 
couple of the Allied tanks get killed, but Elite Commando picks up a little bit more damage on the Tiger too. And now it looks like he might be trying to trying to get into a position to shoot the FCM. That Comet didn't make things easy for him just by jumping on the brakes. 5,096 hit points of damage from Elite Commando from Crazy Clan. He's FV4202. He's blocked a bit and he's even spotted a bit as he takes a bit of a shortcut down through those rocks to try and get some more damage out of that Panther. And maybe the Rymatol Borsig or maybe the uh, artillery. And that artillery would be very, very nervous at the moment. He shoots and tracks the Panther too. Doesn't get any damage though. This one should do it. He picks up his first kill, getting rid of the Tier 8 German medium tank, the Panther 2, where that Comet does the job on artillery. 15 to 6 in the end, a pretty comprehensive victory for Elite Commando from Crazy Clan in his FV4202. The premium tank, which replaced the Tier 10, they made it a Tier 8 premium and with a game like that you can see why he absolutely loves it. It's an ace tank, a mastery badge, a bruiser, fire for effect, a confederate medal for shooting more enemy tanks than anyone else without killing him and of course the high caliber. Look at all those tanks that he shot. He did an absolute ripper. I only picked up the one kill but I tell you what, he had a blinder. 5,253 hit points of damage, just the one kill, 1,457 base experience. He fired 31 shots, 29 hit, nothing wrong with these British guns, and 23 of those shots did damage. He did bounce a couple of, or critical hit, the FCM a couple of times, and I think it might have been one of those heavy tanks up in the middle when he was doing all that brawling. Nobody came within Kui of Elite Commando score of 5,253 hit points of damage on either side, and have a look at those credits. 109,322 credits, not bad for a game that went just under six minutes on mines. As we have a look at the second game in this double shot of tier eight premium medium tank action, this one features Panzer Quack from Calm Clan and is in his Mutz, the Panzer 58 Mutz German premium medium tank on the new Paris map. Not that new, I guess, it's been around for a few months now and is platooned up with. Psy 91 from Aku clan in the low or the Louvre if you want to be flash and results may vary. It is trusty old Japanese medium tank, the STA-1. Panzer Quack going into uh, probably the traditional place where you might go in a medium tank on Paris. Getting a little bit of vision towards the north. Looks like the enemy artillery has already been spotted by the AMX-12T and Panzer Quack providing some nice vision in the north. Shoots towards the WZ-132. He knows he's going to be lit. Doesn't wait for his sixth sense to go off. But it doesn't go off. Enemy artillery gets killed nice and early, which is always a good feeling as Panzer Quack starts shooting towards the Comet. Pulls back again. Also picks up a bit of assisted damage onto the WZ-132. And he's looking around for some opportunities from this little hill. GW Tiger gets spotted. And Panzer Quack thinks, Rightio, it's time to start dancing. Let's get rid of this RU-251 for starters. He's on full health. And, of course, the RU-251 it's only got 100 hit points less than the Panzer 58 Mutz. PZ 58 Mutz. And he's there with his old mate. Results may vary. They want to focus fire down this German light tank. Tracks it. Picks up 252 assisted damage. Looks like the STA is copping a bit of flak from the RU. And <laughs> friendly artillery nearly takes Panzer Quack's head off, but he's using the great rate of fire and maneuverability around these ridge lines to take the RU25 down. And the T25-2 picks up the kill as the spit gets taken out up the other end. He's on 1,044 hit points. He's already picked up 948. Bounced a bit, spotted a bit too. Five threes to score. Panzer Quack and results may vary in the STA-1. Starting to go on a bit of a charge here. Straight down towards a Comet. They're pretty confident. Just about every enemy tank's been spotted now. And it's just this Comet and the Scorpion. Of course, that Scorpion's not the Scor Scorpion G. Not the German Scorpion. It's the American one, I think. Results may vary. Picks up the kill. Taken out the premium Tier 7 tank destroyer. And Panzer Quack saying, results may vary. You can go first, mate. You've got the health. And I'll try and assist just from back here. Results may vary. Picks up his second kill as Panzer Quack puts some damage into the Tier 7 British medium tank. The Comet 
Now both of them moving straight towards the enemy cap circle now with the score on 8-3. to three. You can look at the minimap and Psy91 from a Ku Clan in his low. He'll be saying, hey fellas, I need a bit of a hand. And they're pick it, pinging the map a bit to try and attract some assistance. Even though they're winning 8-3, Psy91 is vastly outnumbered in the southeastern corner as Panzerquack rolls onto the cap here, try and put some pressure on the enemy tanks to maybe leave his mate alone. Psy91 gets taken out on the other side of the map. And Panzerquack from Calm Clan rolls off the cap. And sticking the enemy artillery on the cap circle. Maybe to try and get a bit of cover. They decide not to. Kick back, angled a little bit, just in case these enemy tanks come back. And it looks like they've spotted the bushes and thought, hang on, let's just jump in these bushes and we might be right. We could double bush here, so it'll take a lot for them to spot us with these bushes. 10 6 to score. And maybe one of them's on a mission to do a cap or something, I'm not sure. 22 seconds left on the cap clock. Panzerquack puts a shot into the T28 prototype. His six cents doesn't go off. Maybe he hasn't got six cents in this tank. Maybe that's what he's grinding out. But the Spick picks up the kill. No, he certainly has six cents. There it goes. And the Pershing has hit him from a different direction. He spins his mouse around because he was like, where did that shot come from? Puts a couple of shots into the T49. And he actually picks up the kill on that occasion. 12, 6 to score now. Panzerquack from Calm Clan bounces a shot from the T34-1. And they're focused firing nicely on the Chinese medium tank. He picks up the kill, but the Pershing kills his mate in the STA-1. And, of course, the Pershing very kindly offering his side to Panzerquack. He doesn't want to shoot the Spick. Don't shoot the wrong one. There you go. The third kill of the game. And that's enough for a win on Paris in the PZ-58 Mutz Premium German Medium Tank. It's an ace tank, a mastery badge for Panzerquack. Um, he's also picked up the Arsonist Medal, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and of course the High Calibre for doing all that damage. 3,486 hit points of damage, 3 kills, 1326 base experience, and he fired 18 shots, 16 hit, 15 went through, and that was enough for an ace tank up. Made a handy amount of credits too, 73,500 credits after tax for 5 minutes, and of course, unlike Elite Commando, made 109 in his premium account. If that was a premium account then Panzerquack would have picked up 116,000 credits to add 249 in a premium account. So there you go, a double shot of tier 8 premium medium tank action featuring the PZ-58 Mutz German and the FV-4202. Thanks for the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.